सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर ओके वेल एंड फाइन दिस क्वेश्चन हैज़ बीन आस्ट इन द एग्जामिनेशन प्लीज रीड द क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट ए हंड्रेड के वी ए फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन वोल्ट स्टार कनेक्टेड सिंक्रोनस मशीन जेनरेट्स रेटेड ओपन सर्किट वोल्टेज एट फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन वोल्ट एट द फील्ड करेंट ऑफ फिफ्टीन एमपियर्स राइट The short circuit armature current at a field current of 10 ampere is equal to the rated armature current on short circuit, right? So calculate the per unit saturated synchronous reactance. That is a question, right? So these four are the options. You have to choose one correct option, right? Out of these four, one option is correct that you have to choose, right? So SCR. it is there is one important term scr right in synchronous machines see here scr is a short circuit ratio and it is a measure of stability of an alternator right so here scrc it is given by short circuit ratio is given by field current field current required to produce required to produce rated voltage right v rated voltage right this is rated rated voltage on open circuit divided by field current divided by field current which is required to produce rated armature current on on short circuit right so short circuit ratio is a measure of stability of an alternator and this short circuit ratio is given as field current required to produce rated voltage on open circuit divided by field current required to produce rated armature current on short circuit right so just have a look at it in this question he is saying that 15 ampere field current is required to produce rated voltage on open circuit right so suppose this 15 ampere this is the current 15 ampere right it is that field current it is that field current which is which is required which is required to produce rated voltage right which is required to produce rated voltage that means this is suppose this is the rated voltage rated voltage on open circuit right on this axis i plotted open circuit voltage on this axis i plotted a short circuit current right this is the field current axis this horizontal one right so he is saying that 50 ampere is that field current which is required to produce rated voltage on open circuit right further he says that 10 ampere is that field current which is required to produce produce rated armature current at at short circuit so this 10 ampere this one this much current this is the value of field current right which is required to produce rated armature current on short circuit right so let me call this is ia rated right this is the rated armature current right so 10 ampere is that field current which is required to produce rated armature current on short circuit okay now as i like i said scr is a short circuit ratio which is which is the it is a ratio of field current required to produce rated voltage on open circuit divided by field current required to produce rated armature current on short circuit right that means the numerator will be 15 right and denominator will be 
10 amperes. So that means SCR short circuit ratio comes out to be equal to 1.5, right? Now, he is asking the per unit saturated synchronous reactance, X is saturated per unit, right? This is nothing but inverse of short circuit ratio, 1 by SCR, right? So 1 by 1.5, that means 0 0.66, right? So this is the value of saturated synchronous reactance per unit value, right? So which option is correct? Out of these four, option A is correct, right? Option A is correct. 0.666, right? Is the value of per unit saturated synchronous reactance, right? So like I said that uh, SCR is one of the important parameter in case of synchronous machines. See, it is uh, the measure of stability of an alternator. So it's a ratio basically, like I said, it's a ratio of a field current required to produce rated voltage on open circuit divided by field current required to produce rated armature current on short circuit, right? So if this SCR, that short circuit ratio, if it is high, that means there is more air gap in the design and the larger rotor diameter. That means the larger size of machine. And when the machine size is larger, that means its moment of inertia will definitely be high. You know moment of inertia is nothing but the mass into square of the rotor diameter. So for higher size of machine, for bigger size of machine, it will be having higher or you can say more moment of inertia. That means it will be more transiently stable. It will be more transiently stable. That means, that means it can bear more transient disturbances. Why it is more stable? Because it can bear more transient disturbances, right? Since it can bear more transient disturbances, that's why it is more transiently stable, right? And this is only possible when the short circuit ratio SCR is high, right? Conversely, you can say this uh, that uh, if SCR value is low, that means if short circuit value is low, that means the size of the machine is a smaller, smaller air gap in the machine in the design, smaller size of the machine, that means a smaller moment of inertia. That means it can not be able to bear more transient disturbance in that case if the SCR value is, is small. So that means in that case it is least transiently stable, right? It would not be that much transiently stable that you can get if the value of SCR is high, right? So that means like I said that the SCR is measure of stability of the alternator, right? So normally in case of turbo alternators, in turbo alternators, the value of SCR is in the range of 0.45 to 0.9. And in case of hydro alternator, this short circuit ratio SCR, it may be in the range of 1 to 1.5 right so this this is a ratio so that means it's a number right it's a number so higher the value of SCR means machine will be more transiently stable right and vice versa and for this question for these given values you can uh, obtain per unit saturated synchronous reactance is nothing but 0.66 for the given data Apart from this, SCR is also a measure of per unit short circuit current, right? So, this is option A is correct, 0.666, right? Now, one point I would like to tell you that here only two data, that means 15 ampere and 10 ampere. These two data are only important. Remaining all the data are not important. These are redundant data, right? For the calculation of per unit saturated synchronous reactance, 
you require only field current required to produce rated voltage on open circuit and field current required to produce rated armature current on short circuit with these two data given you can find out the short circuit ratio SCR and with that SCR you can find out the per unit saturated synchronous reactance of the machine so that means this data and this data and all other data they are useless for the calculation of per unit saturated synchronous reactance so here in this case option A is correct thanks for watching thank you